And here we go with another quick tip. And this time, yes, of course, it's another text quick tip. And there just seems to be so many text quick tips that I can share with you that I have to get them all in there. And so this one, as you can read here, is on bold and italics. And um, I'm on my text tool and I'm going to highlight the word bold. Now as those who have used Photoshop and Photoshop Elements for a while, you know that you can go up here and just click this and it says the faw bold. Faw means fake. I don't know why we have to use the word faw. It's just so more cool sounding I guess. But um, some fonts actually have a uh, bold built into them and if you make them even more bold it doesn't work very well but that's why it's a faw bold because it's not the true bold that's built into the font file but we can click on this see and have a nice bold text and down here we can click on this next one and have a faw a I think I'm saying that right, faux, faux, <laughs> we can have italics and so there's our italics text. However, I just love keyboard shortcuts. I use them all the time and when I am in Word and other text editing um, documents, I will highlight my text and just hit control B. Well, um, it didn't do anything here. Um, control B for bold just it doesn't work in Photoshop Elements. However, if you can remember to be different in Photoshop Elements, if you hit Control Shift B, it makes it bold. And you see even it made this little um, area depressed here and so there is our bold and if you click on it again you can see that's kind of uh, different than the other three and the same goes for italics in Word you just do control I but in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements you do control shift I and so if you are one of those people that loves the shortcuts um, for the keyboard rather than the handy icons up here that's the little twist and there you go two tips in one with this quick tip hey did you like it <laughs>